From turn A to Dragon Ball Z, anime nerds like a lot of things, but there's something they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is um, actually. Today, a very special anime-themed Um Actually episode. Joining us, we have Ify Wadiwe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got Fiona Nova. How did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Sung Won Cho. Ooh, okay. awesome. Right, We're all dance and intimidated <laughs> ready to jump in. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, three of you, for being here. Um, this season, we're doing a lot of uh, just sort of single topic episodes, whereas uh, in the past, we've done a kind of broad swap. Uh, and today, as you all know, uh, is is anime day. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to be uh, particularly floundering in this one uh, because I, I, I'm, I've i only dabbled in anime. And literally everyone else, including our fact checker here, uh, are probably like uh, miles ahead in terms of, of their their anime knowledge and, and fandom but um mm. anything like this anything you feel like you want to share about uh, if you've got you showed us you're showing us some of your toys yeah, it was, Any- it's not a toy it's he gun always pla- does this. for gundam always plastic does this. model yeah, yeah i may he always, always shows do- us this <laughs> yeah i got more stuff too just <laughs> i even have this sitting over here for some reason yeah. Oh hell, you you're gonna be wearing that the whole time, right? Yeah, oh, I guess I yeah, have no, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, to yeah. That's no, not no. distracting at all. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, with that, I'll explain the rules very quickly. They're very simple. It's a simple game. These are a stack of statements. These are incorrect statements about anime. Something is wrong with them. It's up to you to buzz in, find what's wrong, and correct me. Uh, all your corrections must be preceded with the phrase, um, actually. This is sort of Jeopardy style. If you don't say that, I won't give you the point, which is particularly <laughs> heartbreaking when you actually have the right answer. Uh, and uh, just like in real life, you can interrupt me whenever you want. You can ignore whatever larger point I'm I'm trying to make and just uh, shut me down to tell me what minor thing I have gotten wrong. Look, I said this before the cameras were rolling. If I mispronounce something, that is not the answer. I'm just an idiot. All right, here we go. <laughs> in the anime Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, the character Inosuke Hashibira stands out among his fellow demon slaying recruits. He fights with two swords instead of one. Instead of a demon slayer uniform, he wears no shirt, and he hides his face most of the time by wearing a mask made of the actual head of its first kill, a giant boar. Well, I haven't seen Demon Slayer. I know. Well, I've, I've seen this I, guy. I have, I have, and I know who you're talking about, but I forgot okay. the name. Uh, if he's buzzing in. Um, actually, he's not wearing a mask. That's what his head really is. <laughs> that's, um, that's very good, like, in genre guess, but that's not right. But Fiona is immediately after that. Go ahead. Um, actually, no, he does have a, a face underneath there, if he. Last so, guess. Um, he's actually, not wearing a shirt. Okay. Yeah. He's always got the shirt popped off. That I know is true. Everything seems true. So my one guess on this, using the things I know that is true, is someone. Well, not my one. I'm actually. The boar was not his first kill. If he, that is correct. So uh, I'll give you the point. Like I am pulling an iffy. Yes, you are. (laughs) Pulling an iffy is when you find the wrong thing, even if you don't know what's right, and you walk away with points anyway. Uh, So so if he will get the point, unless someone can tell me what the deal is uh, with this boar mask. Yeah, sung one. Um... Actually, it's the he killed the boar's mom, like Uh, a Q-bone situation. I'm just guessing. Interesting. Uh, No, that's not right. Uh, Although... Yeah. All right. If he's gonna gonna walk away, not the cleanest point in the world, but we'll give it to you. <laughs> Someone, when you said like a Cubone situation, I was like, oh, that's maybe kind of right. The uh, his deal is that um, he was raised by boars, right. and to oh, show right. oh, to show like solidarity with those. Kind of yeah. Thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which, which isn't like an odd way to be like, ah, I'm, I'm going to honor my family. I'm, I'm so connected with the boars who raised me that I'm going to decapitate one and wear its corpse around. <laughs> uh, well, if he will give you that point and we'll move on to our next question here. In One Punch Man, heroes registered with the Hero Association are divided into four classes, C, B, A, and S. Some S-class heroes include Pig God, Super King, Watchdog Man, Flashy Flash, and Tank Top Master. Someone is buzzed in. 
I believe Flashy Flash is not one of the uh, uh, S members or whatever. Um, Flashy Flash is, and you didn't say um, actually. So uh, two levels of wrong there. Oh, uh, my so God. Run, run those, I forgot what show I'm again. on. <laughs> I got it. Um, actually, why didn't you mention Genos? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that in all, all conversation. You know, our man Genos here. <laughs> let's talk about him. Yeah, let's, like, let's, can, we, can we talk about him? I like we're him. Trying to, we're trying to order our food right now. We have other things to talk about. This isn't the moment here. Um, actually, it's King, not Super King. Uh, it is correct. Uh, Super King is not an S-Class superhero. I'm actually not sure if King is a hero or not. You you might be right there. King Super is a hero, uh, but he's not, he's not called Super King. I just didn't recognize the Flashy Flash character, but I know who the character King is, and he is an S-Class ranked hero. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, good job. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, Super King is a uh, local L.A. grocery store and also an Indian <laughs> cricket team. This is embarrassing. I was literally... Oh, shit! I was literally, I'm reading this volume. I'm reading it right now. This is not a joke. He's on the fucking oh, cover. You had it right next to you, too. That's Remember crazy. that this, this is a flashy. There's like 50 characters in this volume alone. Don't give, me, know. give me your weeb license. We're revoking you it. <laughs> uh, well, that point, uh, again, we'll go to Sung One, and here is our next question. In Kill La Kill, scissor blades are special weapons made from hardened life fibers. As a result, they are the only weapons in the series that can cut other life fibers and thus destroy Goku uniforms. I'm actually, and other, yeah, uh, I'm actually, they are not the only weapons that can cut life fibers. As a matter of fact, the uh, president, uh, or now the school, uh, gosh, um, <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm, I'm like in the middle of it, so I don't have all the names down. But her blade can cut the life fibers. There was also another uh, student who was, who was just introduced who can cut life fibers too. But Saltzman is standing up where it seems like I feel like I got it. Did, did I get it right? No, you say yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Such That's confidence. I mean, uh, uh, did I get it right? <laughs> Pure confidence to like, uh, or, but not, but maybe, what the fuck I know? I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, if you, that is what we're going for, you're a little vague in your specifics, but I think you're close enough there. Uh, they're not the only ones we're looking for. Uh, Satsuki's bazooka can also uh, cut through life fibers in addition uh, to, to That's her name, Satsuki. Yeah. Satsuki. Oh, you didn't know. Oh, Oh my God, she white. I mean, that's what I was She's saying. White. I said the one. She, oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so toy, who, my toy so is holding is. it down for me. I love it. I love it. My toy. As someone from the outside looking in, uh, uh, <laughs> tell, tell me, because uh, like, yeah, okay. cause I, I'm familiar with the concept of Kill La Kill, although it did take me a good <laughs> Good, a good amount of time on the wiki to be like, I think I got it. Yeah. Um, um, it might have been uh, the widest way I've ever heard someone say kill a kill. Kill a kill. <laughs> kill, uh, kill, kill, kill. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard someone say kill a kill. Kill a uh, kill, kill, yeah. kill, right? Look, kill once kill. again, kill kill. Once again yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna pronounce this thing, everything all fucking fucked in here. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be, the, it's uh, going to be, it's going to be. It might not even be wrong. I've just never yeah. heard anyone say just kill a kill. Yeah, yeah uh, I've never yeah. heard. Yeah, I, I and only just one word, basically, like kill. kill. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, it is funny how you um, you get it. I feel like this comes up a lot in like uh, in Pokemon too, where people will be like reading a Pokemon and like will will inject a certain pronunciation in their brain. Yeah. If you hear any say anything different than that, I'm it's like, like That's I don't wrong. know if I'm right, but you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, cool. Uh, if he will take uh, will take that one. Um, I got no points. What am I, I supposed to do? Uh, don't, the, don't, the, don't. The, be quick on the buzzer and bust an iffy. Uh, <laughs> all right well this next question here uh this is submitted by a fan this is a viewer submitted question this comes to us from chef whatnot thank you chef whatnot for this contribution in the pirate centric one piece prosthetics such as peg legs and eye patches are common but there are a number of much more technologically advanced cyborgs in the series as well including frankie bartholomew kuma taroimo scotch eustace kid and Gotti. fiona's buzzing in um, actually, I don't like the name Eustisis Kid. I can't even pronounce that, so he's not a cyborg. Uh, Eustace Kid doesn't care whether or not you like his name. Eustace Kid is a cyborg. Damn it. Yeah, um, Damn actually, it. then my guess is going to be Frankie. Frankie is All the right. one that is not a cyborg. 
<laughs> Izzy, I'm sorry to tell you. I'm with you, Saltman. That one clearly is a cyborg. That's a nice cyborg. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, Scotch is not a cyborg. No. <laughs> um, actually, prosthetics are not common in One Piece. Um, Ify, you're close, but you're too vague and too far away what? from that wow, point. Wow, okay, this feels too vague. Too vague. <laughs> okay, right. That was in, that's, a, that's a pretty good answer, because I was thinking, like, peg legs and eye patches are not that common, yeah. actually, yeah. in one, one Piece characters. Yeah. That, you're on the right track. You picked the wrong one, Ify. Uh, the answer we were looking for is that not a single character in One Piece has worn an eye patch. Uh, really? Despite really? a, high, a very that's how these show. fucking questions can work, huh? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, interesting. Interesting. It's not, interesting. It's not, one. It's it's not, not always just the string of names ah, at the end. Those ah, okay, okay. I thought that was just like the cute framing device, like you oh. know, pirates. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, no, we're actually playing this type the of game. Questions that's fine. That's too. Okay. Oh, oh shit! Listen. I'm in. All I'm right. in. I get it. So now, now we take it seriously. Uh, uh, all right. That's so listen up. Some obscure eye patch this, character. What's there's going an on obscure here? eye patch character. That's yes! correct. <laughs> but, but it is not. We said it was common, and it is not common at all. So the correction still stands. There is a character named Rokai, who is, I guess, the head of the eye patch pirates, I think. Um, but he's from, he's from the One Piece video game he is not from the uh, anime. he may uh, make a brief appearance in the anime but not the manga from what i'm seeing but like it's if he does it's very minimal uh, if he if you would say after guessing every other noun in this fucking <laughs> yeah had eye patch instead of peg like i would have given you that point I <laughs> I feel Point. good. I don't even watch One Piece, so I feel I, I will. Oh, um, man. I don't watch. I don't watch One Piece either. I have no idea. I do. I'm gonna get fucking reamed. Well, right. We're in it now, uh, and this will actually bring us to our first shiny question of the game. Shiny questions like shiny Pokemon are worth the same amount of points. They're just a little bit different and a little bit rarer. Uh, just a different, slightly different format for for a quick break in the middle of the game. So this is a, a little mini game that we're going to call Earth 20XX. Uh, so in just a moment, we're going to put up uh, a collection of uh, anime titles. These are all uh, sort of post-apocalyptic visions of the future. Uh, so I want you to try, we want to collectively try to arrange these in chronological order, basically. In what year does this story take place? Now, if we were doing this live, normally what we'd do is like everyone would get a chance to sort of like arrange their own timeline. That's just going to be too difficult digitally. So the way this is going to work is sort of a lightning round style. So you'll see the titles in front of you. If you think you know what comes first, like buzz in and and say so. And we'll sort of like piece by piece assemble the yeah. timeline. Whoever can correctly place the most titles will get the point for the question. Okay. Cool. Mm. All right. Sounds good. Cool, cool. All right. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the titles that we're looking at here. All right, we got a couple different oh, visions of the future, um, but uh, but widely different spans of time. Uh, take a moment, take those in. If you think you know what the earliest post-apocalyptic vision is, buzz in. If he has buzzed in, what is the first one here? I'm taking a guess. Okay. It might be Akira. Uh, that's a really good guess, but that is not correct. Mm. Uh, okay. Oh shit! Taking a guess, I'm gonna go with Neon Genesis. Another another pretty good guess, but also not correct. Uh, uh, Sung one, what do you got? Code Geass. It is yes, it's Code Geass. Yes. Uh, All right. Uh, that is uh, imagine that that takes place around 1962 or 1963. Uh, what? Uh, Whoa! Yeah. That's crazy. That. It's an alternate version of 1962. Um, um, who thinks they know what is second in, in the timeline here? All right, I have Sung One and Iffy right behind him. Psychopaths. It's not Psychopaths. Iffy. Legend of Galactic Heroes. Incorrect. Fiona, you mm. want to take a stab? Uh, I'm going to say Akira. Uh, nope, that's not it either. Uh, Sung One. Maybe now it's Evangelion? Now it's Evangelion. Uh, okay. Okay. One up. Oh, it's one up. Evangelion takes place in 2015. 2015, the far off future of 2015. I knew this one took place like now ish. Like, yeah. I think someone was like, oh, like, it's the day of right, this or right. whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I know this is around present time. Oh, you're But I haven't, okay. I, I haven't seen Psychopaths. 
So I was like, that, no, anyway, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, this will get easier as we go along because we'll run out of options, but we're now pressing <laughs> number number three. Uh, who's got everything? If he's buzzing in now. And now it's Akira. Very close. Now it's Akira. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that is 2019. 2019 yeah. is okay. for that. Um, uh, that one goes to Ify. Uh, we're now placing number four. Uh, who's that? That is Fiona is buzzing in now. I'm going to say Psychopaths. It's not Psychopaths. I have Ify behind Fiona. Uh, is it now Ghost in the Shell? Now it's Ghost in the Shell oh in 2029. Wow. Oh. I'm going to reset those buzzers, and we're placing number five. All right. We are creeping to the future. Sung one, what is next after this? Is it now Psychopaths? It's not Psychopaths. God damn it, Psychopaths. <laughs> got to watch this show. Uh, iffy. Uh, is it Eureka 7 now? It, it is not, no. Mm. Uh, Fiona, you've buzzed All it. All right, yeah. I'm going to say... Legend of Galactic Heroes. Uh, this is going to be a quick draw, uh, which yeah. if he's already buzzed in on, because that yeah. is correct. Cowboy but there's Bebop. only one left. It's Cowboy Bebop now. <laughs> uh, that is uh, that is t the year 2071. Um, resetting these buzzers. Who's got the next one? There's only three left. Uh, all right, Fiona's first, then Ify, then Sung One. Um, now it's Psychopaths. Now it is Psychopaths. Yeah. Sorry, Sung One. 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 That's all I that wanted. One. Guess. Psychopath takes place in the year 2112 to 2113. We're creeping. Oh, wow. That's future. way later than I thought. Okay. Um, I've reset the buzzers. There's only two left. So this will be our last one here. Kind of a coin flip here. Sung one, which is next? I believe, because I've seen Galactic Heroes. I have not seen Eureka 7, but I believe it's Eureka 7, then Galactic Heroes, because Galactic Heroes takes place way in the future. Uh, someone, you're correct that Galactic Heroes takes place way in the future, uh, but unfortunately, Eureka 7 takes place even, even more in the future. future. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to, so yeah, I'll, I'll give that point to Ify since he's next buzz in and there's only one option left. Uh, uh, so Galactic <laughs> Heroes takes place in uh, 2801. Uh, Eureka 7 takes place in the year 12,005. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I didn't super, know that. What? Super fucking far in the future. Uh, oh my god, that's oh stupid. Gosh. That's so stupid. I find that even—it's just crazy to even imagine. Let me ask right. you this: Was this anime made in 2005? Yeah. Did they just it was. seriously tag on ten thousand a year? It was old. <laughs> Why not like, I make it a hundred thousand, one million? Like I, I was, because it's so funny. Because funny enough, it, that attests to the good design of that anime. But yeah, I was looking at Legend of the Galactic Heroes and was like, okay, this one's gonna be one that takes place super far. And that was my guess as the last one too. So if you, if I would have went in before you. <laughs> I would have guessed uh, uh, Eureka 7 too. Because I'm mm -hmm. like, this, yeah, I'm looking at it, looking at the design and all the suits. This probably has to be one of those anime where it's like, we're so far in the future. Do you, what? What's Earth? To recap there, Ify snagged four of those. Sung Wong snagged two, Fiona one. So Ify's going to get that point uh, for, for placing and, this apocalypse. And to be fair, Ify did a lot of, that was like a lot of. 50 50 like uh, you sound that's, like everyone in the dropout legit. discord Listen, oh whatever. if he doesn't actually answer things he just really uses the, the gameplay I mean, but that, am that's I wrong? That's, look at the end of the game we'll all know who really knew things who really answered things the numbers are the numbers but we'll know we'll <laughs> All right, well, we will move on to uh, back to our regular gameplay. So we're back to needing to say, I'm um, actually again. This wasn't intentional. We do have another One Piece question here. Uh, that's just how that shook out. So sorry to those of you who aren't. I'm going to redeem going. myself this time. <laughs> In One Piece, characters may gain special powers by consuming one of three types of devil fruit. Paramecia, which grants superhuman abilities. Zoan, which give the ability to transform into a specific animal. And Logia, which let them create, control, and transform into a natural element. Consuming a devil fruit is not without its cost, though. No one can have the power of more than one fruit, since consuming a second one makes you explode. And consuming even one fruit will deprive you of the ability to swim in seawater. Someone is buzzed in. Um, actually, you don't explode. You just die, I believe. Um, from my research, I think you actually straight up explode if you eat a second devil fruit. Um, uh, so that is not the answer we're looking for. Iffy. Um, actually, look, someone's going to laugh at me if I'm wrong about this. But I think, based on things I've seen, is... <laughs> 
To the best uh, of my knowledge. To the best your of my honor, knowledge. <laughs> your honor, uh, the one type of devil fruit doesn't get affected by salt water. Oh, uh, I don't think so. That's not what we're going. You, 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 you can say that, I'm wrong. That's, I, I will say that's not correct. Okay, <laughs> I know that. Sung one, you're buzzed in, yeah. Um, actually, there is a character, uh, Marshall D. Teach or Blackbeard, who did take another devil fruit power. Uh, that, so it is p- technically possible. That, that, that is the answer different. we're looking for. Yes. Well, I would have known that. There was no way. I would have never known I that. I, mean, I don't think they explode, though. Do they, they um, explode? I don't think it's ever happened. Uh, What's Saltzman, described what is that their body destroys itself if you consume mm. the second one. So I feel like it's up to a little bit of interpretation, but okay. I could imagine that being depicted as an explosion for sure. I will say it's never happened. So that immediately that to true? me was like, uh, yeah, because it, uh, it's just like if you eat devil fruits, you die. That's what yeah. uh, they are, they're always like. They've never actually depicted it happening. That's why when that character takes a devil fruit power, uh, it's a big deal. From like just like my my own research, I I was uh, really tickled by um, the the character who was, was able to turn into a giraffe, uh, just because it carried with it this. It's like when you think of like well like it's like I could turn into an animal and like really fuck you up. Like giraffe is maybe I don't know like five hundredth on my list yeah, of yeah. animals. I think I would choose. I will say that whole scene is great because he, he that's one of the characters who eats a double fruit for the first time. Like you you see him eat it and then it's like oh what's his power gonna be. And then he's just a fucking giraffe, and it's the funniest <laughs> thing. But then the fight that ensues with his giraffe powers is insane. God knows what I'm talking about. Saltzman's like, yeah, he's like, yeah. like, it's one of the You're funniest things. Sex. Like they managed, they managed to take a giraffe superpower and make it one of the funniest like fights of it, like That's in One Piece. Wild. Very cool. That uh, that point will go to Sung One for identifying Blackbeard. Uh, here is our next statement. Studio Ghibli got its start with the release of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind in 1985. Since then, it has become a cultural phenomenon, producing films that are critical and financial successes. Six of the top ten grossing anime films of all time are Ghibli films, including Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo, Princess Mononoke, Arietti, and The Wind Rises. Uh, yes, yeah, Sungwon. Um, actually, uh, Wind Rises isn't one of the top of all time, right? Uh, weirdly, it is. Yeah, I mean, really. Okay. Like nothing, nothing against it, but uh, um, but yeah, like I, I shared your thing where it's like I'd be surprised if, um, but yeah, uh, that is on there. Um, Ify and then Fiona. Um, actually, did Studio Ghibli get their start from the Lupron the third movie? Uh, well, let, let's see if that's just even right. Did they <laughs> get their start from the Lupron the third movie? <laughs> So here's what I'll say. Oh, you have gosh, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's go. You have sort you have sort of found what we're looking for here, although a little bit of a roundabout way. Even though now Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is often included in in like Studio oh, Ghibli collections. Shit. It it actually predates the founding of Studio Ghibli. Uh, so to say that they got their start with the release of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is incorrect. But what I don't have in front of me is whether or not Lupin the Third was the one that got them started. So uh, and and it's also right now is telling me no. <laughs> so it's, uh, before anyone says anything, I'm going to reset these buzzers and uh, and Ify, I'll give you the point unless someone can tell me what the actual first uh, what the actual first uh, official Ghibli movie is. I'm resetting the buzzers now. Sung one. Castle in the Sky is the actual first. I'm actually, Castle in the Sky is the first uh, Ghibli film. Saltzman is telling me that's correct. So someone uh, is going to scoop that from you, Ify. Uh, uh, I do you want to say but, that but, for Ify, the, the name of the Lupin film is the Castle, Castle of, of I know. I have it right here. I didn't, <laughs> yes. I didn't want to cheat. Everyone's got have... their cheat sheets in front of them. This I think, is I think that's Misaki's first feature, right? Or one of his first features. Yeah, first feature is Castle of Cagliostro. Very I good. wanted. Uh, I wanted to make a comment that you pronounced Princess Mononoke. Listen, I, you should you should all throw these at me, <laughs> throw them at me, because if so you, you don't, know, they're going why. to. If in totally the collected fine. works, Castle of Cagliostro, <laughs> Na, uh, Nausicaa, and then Castle in the Sky. So that once again, but, if you, I, I, I need to thank you because every time I, I get fucking roasted for my shitty ass pronunciation, <laughs> you come in and just make an even bigger ass of yourself yeah. uh, <laughs> right after. So right, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> you got safe there. That's you cool. got safe That's there. Cool. Uh, great. So currently we're looking at three, three, zero, three both for Sung One and Ify, zero for Fiona. But there's still plenty of questions here. Plenty of time to catch up. The TV series Mobile Suit Gundam kicked off the Gundam franchise and introduced the world to RX-78-2 Gundam, a manned robot built by the Earth Federation to fight the Principality of Xeon. While the numbers refer to the specific model as distinct from other Gundams like RX-78-NT-1, PMX-003, and P-90X, the word Gundam itself comes from a portmanteau of the words gun and freedom. Yes, iffy. If you don't know, Gundam is broken up into many cannons. UC is what started with Mobile Suit Gundam, the uh, you know you, the Universal Century. Uh, but I like things on the offshoot, which is like you know Iron Blooded Orphans, which is why I have a Gundam Barbados over there. Uh, but there's also Unicorn, where I have a Unicorn right here, uh, Sea Destiny right here. I don't believe there's a P90X uh, Gundam. Um, if you did not say um, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, um, actually, is this like is that where correct? If I say it, if is I that say correct? It, yes. I'll not say whether it's correct or not, but I will say that if you can't get the point for that because he didn't say um, actually. Well, then, then I'm definitely not buzzing in. I don't even, I didn't even process what you said. You play the game, <laughs> um, actually, P90X is All right, I'm buzzing in. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I'm buzzing in. Um, actually... What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> the P97 is not. P90X. The P90X is not. No, that, it is absolutely not a mobile suit. <laughs> Got them? Uh, Fiona, that's correct. P90X is a home workout regimen. Uh, and some might even say, a lot of the first time. <laughs> Take the point, and I'm going to put it right here. Wow, such a big Gundam <laughs> head over here. Clearly, this is normal for um actually. Every time I actually know the answer, I <laughs> do not believe excited. I actually know it. And then when I do, I forget to say I'm actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I thought there was a pretty good chance that you would just be familiar with P90X, the workout uh, I thing, am. too. I, I am. So, I was, I was like, but, Man, if you um, can't believe you don't know shit about yeah. doing them, I'll be. <laughs> Fucking what a, yeah, what an idiot. <laughs> I so many robos around me. Well, we've got we've got uh, another shiny question, and it's one I'm looking forward to here. This is a game that we call Legal Limit. Uh, and the idea here is that we'd really love to test you on anime theme songs, uh, but we don't have the legal rights to actually play them. So we're going to play what we think we can legally get away with, which is about one second, sometimes just a couple of notes. It will be a really, really thin slice of an anime segment. But we think still stuff uh, for anime fans as yourself that might still be recognizable. I've got six tracks for you here. Whoever can identify the most will get the one point for Let's sure. listen to that first track, Buzzers at the Ready. Uh, Fiona's so fast. Like, That's Attack like a, on Titan. No, no, I had to get the point. I had to snatch that. That is Attack on Titan. That one, that the Fiona. Oh, nice. One wow, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. You right, didn't yeah. know that was Attack on Titan? No, we were I, getting there. Yeah, oh. I'm just, for, just forming up my ears. Uh, let's hear that second track. <laughs> Come on, that's easy. Come on, give me that. Oh, that, that is iffy buzzing in first. Yeah, Cowboy Bebop. Give me that. That's easy stuff. That, that's Cowboy Bebop. That's yeah, Cowboy yeah, Bebop. yeah. Damn it. Uh, all right, let's hear track number three. <laughs> uh, Fiona just barely beat oh. Sung on that one. Uh, that is... Um, oh, God, it's, it's Dragon Ball Z. That is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay. I was like, I girl, you gotta get blank. this. You gotta I get this. I had a yeah. blank. I was like, oh, God, the name. I had a blank. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, let's take a listen to track number four. Ooh, that is someone and Fiona almost at the same time, but someone just barely beat out Fiona. Uh, what is that? The classic Evangelion theme. That yeah. is indeed ah. that. Um, we are four in, currently two with Fiona, one with Ify, one with Sung One. Two more tracks remain. Let's take a listen to number five. <sighs> Once again, Sungwon and Fiona buzzing in very quickly, but yeah. Sungwon just barely beat Damn out it. Fiona. This isn't an anime. I don't think I've seen this, but is this... Fuck. Come on. Oh, wait. Come on. Is this Parasite? This is Parasite. Oh. Yeah! All right. Nice. Sam, you know, I couldn't Sam tell it. if you were rooting for him to not get it or to get no, it. No, I, I root. I root. I like, okay. I like when people win. 
that means uh, if he has one, uh, uh, Fiona and Sungwon both have two, which means either Fiona and Sungwon can claim the win on this one, or if, if he gets it, uh, you'll both uh, tie and get a point for this one. Let's listen to that last track. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Once again, Fiona, Fiona and Sung one so close on top of each other, but Fiona buzzed in first. Yes! Yes! Is it Pokemon? That's Pokemon. It's a one yes! note. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, that, uh, that point will go to Fiona for catching those themes. Uh, I love I love that, that that single note from Pokemon is recognizable. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I know. <laughs> um, awesome. We have only a couple questions left, um, but we'll keep moving along here. In JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, stands are physical manifestations of a person's life energy capable of extraordinary powers, and they also reference musicians and music. Superfly, named after the Curtis Mayfield album, grants its user the ability to fly. Boy to Man, named after boys to men, can steal energy from anyone who loses a game of rock, paper, scissors. And Adam Hart Father, named after the Pink Floyd song Adam Hart Mother, lets its user move around inside photographs. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Um, this yeah. is some rigged shit right here. <laughs> I'm telling you. Every single thing. I'm telling you, if you know all of it. Uh, someone. I'm um, actually, I'm just guessing. Yeah. Uh, just the ability to fly doesn't sound like a joke. It sounds too boring for JoJo. So is that <laughs> it? That it's not actually flight for Superfly? It's something completely different? That is correct, actually. Wow. <laughs> I don't I don't oh. know the power, though. But I that doesn't sound, I was like, that's too boring because I've heard all this crazy shit about JoJo. Yeah, I'm like that's definitely not just I can fly. That's too simple. Too simple. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The actual Superfly stand, what it does is it traps its user inside an indestructible radio transmission tower. Uh, that's and- JoJo. <laughs> uh, that it can't be destroyed. In fact, they can't leave it unless they swap places with someone else. I think so. Once they create it, there always needs to be someone trapped inside this indestructible radio transmission tower. So uh, a, a, both a fortress uh, for defense, but also something of a prison. Uh, that is Superfly. <laughs> well, Great, that point will go to someone and we'll move on to our next one. This is a Death Note question. Holding a Death Note gives you a lot of power, but if you want even more, you can trade away half of your remaining life in exchange for Shinigami Eyes. With Shinigami Eyes, you can see the names and lifespans of other people and yourself, with the exception of other Death Note owners. Shinigami Eyes also get 7220 vision. Yes, Iffy. Um, actually, you don't get to see the lifespan of yourself. That is correct. You can't see your own yes. remaining life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was my second That just seemed one. like that that'd be too powerful. One. And usually yeah. things that let you see your life, they're like, nah, you don't know about yourself, though. Yeah. But that's yeah. the one I want to know the most yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so about me. Yeah. This will bring us to our uh, last shiny question and second to last question of the game. This is going to be a little mini game that we call Pitch Session. So some anime premises are a little strange. In this game, I'm going to pitch you an oversimplified description of a premise to see if you can name what series it is. Uh, And I will say, um, uh, just just to to, uh, handicap this a little bit, I am intentionally choosing um, perhaps some slightly unusual premises and not just going like the most popular anime and like oversimplifying them. Uh, as before, whoever can identify the most will get the point. Here we go. Resetting those buzzers. A boy must learn to harness his spirit powers with the help of a cat spirit. And if he sees a girl's panties twice in a row in quick succession, the earth will be destroyed by a meteor. Fiona. Is this punchline? Oh, um, is, I, do I say it's it punchline? It's punchline. Oh, yes. wow. But do you have to say I'm um, actually? But do you I have, don't to, know say, if I have to say I'm not for tiny questions? Not. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I've done. I've not seen lot, that one. Still, that was a good, seen good it, job on I've that. I've seen it Damn. twice. It's a really good. I mean, I it was like one of my favorites for a while. It's pretty good. I like it. Here is the next one. Four gypsum busts form a boy band. Someone you've buzzed uh, in. It has the word boys in it, I think. Something like that? Maybe I'm, I know the anime, but I don't know the title. The, the Stone Boys or oh! something. Oh, my God. Maybe I helped her. I don't know. Uh, that's not quite right, but you, you're, I'm not going to say, but you are kind of on the right track. Fiona. I think I know it. Um, actually, is it Seco Boys? It is Seco Boys. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, good one. Oh man, that was right. the boys' part. Oh, <laughs> I got yeah. to the boys. <laughs> uh, all right, here is our next one. A boy wakes up to discover that his right hand is now a small girl. Uh, Sung one is buzzed in. Midori days? It is Midori days. That's right. Uh, that's right. I haven't seen it, but I know the concept. Here is our next one. A man fights the forces of baldness with his nose hair. Uh, it, if you did buzz in. Oh! Is it bo 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 <laughs> It is bo 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 What? Is that a real? Yeah. What? Oh, that ain't. Yeah, they oh played it a lot on Cartoon Network, and, I, and someone, yep. as a gift, I think I still have it, gave me a DVD of it. It's over here, and it was the one time I tried the uh, an edible, and I was like, oh, it'll be so <laughs> cool to this and yeah. watch this crazy anime, and I ate too much and was curled up in the ball in my room uh, oh, for, and then did not watch it. Um, okay, we've got, that's two for Fiona, one for Sung, one, one for Ify. We've got two more left remaining. I'm going to reset these buzzers. Here is our next one. Anthropomorphic soda cans battle each other. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Anthropomorphic soda cans. I don't think I know this one. Uh, it seems like we've stumped you. Do we have any guesses or people just want to throw in the towel on this one? Yeah, I passed it. All right, cool. This is Aki Can. Um, Salsa it. has found a, an image yeah, of it. I found an image of it. And I feel like this is one of those anime where somebody was just like, what could be hot? And <laughs> I have never seen that in my life. <laughs> wow, yeah. What the fuck? What the hell? Looks really good. Uh, So we have one more remaining here. Uh, Reset those buzzers. And here it is. Jesus and Buddha hang out together. Someone (laughs) has buzzed in here. Saint Young Men? It is Saint Young Men, yes. All right. Whoa! That is correct. Good job. Um, that means that uh, at the end of that, we've got two for Fiona, two for Sung Won, one for Ify, which means that both Sung Won and Fiona will walk away with a point <gasps> for that. Nice. Pretty tight game. Uh, nice. Four for nice. Ify, three for Fiona, five for Sung Won. This is our last question. And on this game, as always, our last question is about real life skills. Uh, it's not about anime. It's just uh, now that you've proven you know this much oh. about this. Okay. Let's uh, let's see how we're doing with real life. <laughs> Sexual arousal in anime is often depicted by characters facing sudden, unexpected nosebleeds. In the real world, there is no connection between nosebleeds and arousal, but that doesn't mean you won't have to treat a nosebleed now and then. Firmly pinch the soft part of your nose for 10 to 15 minutes. Tilt your head back to avoid pooling I'm in your actually- nose. If you he, don't tilt your head back when you have a nosebleed. Uh, it, it actually makes it worse. Uh, you're supposed to actually lean forward. That is correct. You oh. lean forward. Uh, I have a child. Oh. You have a child. That's what I was going to say. I was like, yeah, thank yeah. God you do that. Because Another, you have a child again, too. everything <laughs> is stacked in his favor. He's got Gundams. He's got JoJo. He's got a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, I think that will mean our final score is five each for Sung Won and Ify and three for Fiona. A pretty solid showing all around, uh, but that means Sung Won and Ify will tie for the win for this episode. <laughs> I'm just happy I didn't end the show with zero. Thank God. <laughs> Rock the shiny questions. I was, I was oh, yeah. mentally prepared. That was awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for playing with, uh, with us. And thank you for watching. Join us next time for even more pedantic corrections here on Um Actually. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>